I think we've started streaming. Okay, I guess we'll find out in a minute if the video pops up. Yep, there it is. Yep. Oops. Yeah, you can yeah. see how it looks now. We're all sitting on top of our nameplates now. Which I guess That's isn't fine. too bad, but uh. No, it's it's not awful or anything. I'll try to get with Red and see if he can get him to cooperate. You know how it all is right. with him. All right, are we ready to begin? Yes. Okay. Maybe. Sure. All right, here we go. And. I need to start. <laughs> I thought I'd pass it along. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome to the Infinite Respawn Podcast. I'm Chicken. I'm Oak Tree. I'm Griff. I'm Baka. What up, guys. folks? What's up? So what's everybody been playing this week? Give me one you guess. just want to jump right in because you know what we're going to talk about, don't you? Oh, yeah. And you're like wasting no I'm time. Not a, I'm, right I'm not even going to say this because we all know the answer. The answer to this is Overwatch, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, everybody <laughs> on the fucking planet has been playing Overwatch so much this week that they extended the open beta because everybody is fucking playing the damn thing. I mean, it, it's an Anybody awesome playing Battleborn? Anybody? Anybody? No. Hello? Hello? Battleborn? I think I saw a copy over the weekend to someone. <laughs> It like was, someone was like, "Oh, I want to, I want to play this," and I was like, "Well, just don't be surprised if the servers are are not like very populated at the moment. Everyone's playing Overwatch." Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure they sold yeah, a lot weird. of copies this weekend, or this week, I should say. I know. Yeah, yesterday I was like, "Oh yeah, don't let me forget to buy this game." <laughs> yeah, buy that game. <laughs> oh. Do you want to let Oak talk about what he's been playing first since we're just going to be like, oh my god! Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. The answer's the same. Oh. <laughs> oh okay, well, is that all you played this week? I don't know. I thought maybe there was something else. Uncharted. Uncharted 3. <laughs> On Sunday. Okay. Other than that, it's been yeah. Overwatch. Yeah, other than that, no, it's been Overwatch. <laughs> uh, okay, every fine. minute, it's been Overwatch. All right, so what? what's everybody's favoritist characters? You don't have to pick one. You can pick. You can pick your, like, top-tier heroes. Hmm... <sighs> Uh, and Bastion me, are my top two. Cheap. I got to play for Bastion last night, um, and I I really liked playing as him, but I, that's no pants character, so I can't do that because that's that's his thing. Um, I I like Roadhog. Oh. Um, I I like the hook. I like the hook mechanism. I like the fact he's beast. Um, I think I, they need to tone down his damage though. That's only if you like get close, but he does have like a medium to long range shot with his little junk gun too. It's pretty legit. Well, and I yeah, think it's all strategy. You, you're right? gonna, like you're gonna die. Yeah, uh, you gotta if junk gra or if uh, Roadhog grabs you, you gotta be quick. Like if you were in his face and he hits you, you're gonna die. So you've gotta take back as much of a step as you can. Like, uh, and hopefully you don't die from his <laughs> strap to your face. Junkrat, um, I like. I just, I, I haven't got used to controlling him. Oh, uh, Junkrat is amazing. I almost didn't play him, and then Ivy was having such a good time with him, and I was like, well, fine. And I played him, and now it's like, oh, he's my go-to. I played, I played as one of the girls last night. I'm trying to think of who it was that I, that I really liked her character too. Um, if it was the Eskimo, fuck you. No, it wasn't the Eskimo. <laughs> wow, yeah. not a big fan of the Eskimo. She are you? fucking hates me. Holy shit. Dude, oh. I came up with like a whole new list of curse words just for her. Now this one has I'm pretty sure it's a girl. She has like a, a jet pack that you can like you can Farah. Farah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. the one I like to play. Farah's yeah, because so you could do it, but it's cool because when the other when the Eskimo freezes you, you just hit the jet pack and <laughs> unfroze immediately. It's great. So Seriously, there's like a... that breaks me shit. Fuck that. Yep. No, you freeze them and then you do your little icicle to their brain. Like I taught those motherfuckers too. I, for Diva, I got a spray that's salt, so I fucking kill them and then I spray salt next to their body. So when they're watching a the replay, they see salt after I kill them. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so beautiful. They're like, oh fuck that guy. Yeah, <laughs> be mad. What now? What me. level y'all now? I'm 25 now. 22, 21, something like that. 16. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because y'all have been playing a lot. Like I haven't played that much. I'm like six or something like that. Seven. I've been tearing that fucking game up, and I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> well, they were talking about some uh, some guy uh, that's been playing the game like like almost nonstop since it started. And it's like level fifty that's that's come up or whatever it is, whatever the max is, and they're like the max what? is like level one hundred. Is that what it is? Okay. Well, he's like level fifty. 
Good God, level 100? Jesus mm-hmm. Christ, how many hours you got to put in to get to that damn thing? Lots. Lots and lots. But they I don't know, it must not be that much. I mean, we've only played for, like, a few days in the evening, pretty much, and we're already mid-20s. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, plus, like, 6 hours yesterday. I think we played about 22 hours. Okay. We're, wow, long. your video just went all crazy for me. Not for me, not on my side, so... No, that's good, okay, whatever, you're rainbow bright for me. Yeah, you're fine. It's entertaining. No. Okay. So, yeah, it's, he's fine on my side, too. Yeah, but, uh... <laughs> so you'd have to put in 88 hours to get to 100, theoretically. That's okay, that's, that's a pretty bad, good though. hour. Right. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming that the, it would take longer... Yeah, like it's which... gonna take a whole lot more points between each level, so it'd actually take longer than that. So you probably figure 100 hours for 100 to get to 100, right? Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. not too bad so that's, I guess that's reasonable. One hour per level. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, what are you guys' favorite maps? Um, uh, I can tell you what's one of my favorite. <laughs> yeah, the only one I haven't really enjoyed that much is the one where it's the giant hole in the middle of the damn floor and you have oh, to capture the, the grease map. Uh, okay. Yes. What's that? I like the uh, kind of the Egyptian themed one. Yeah, that one's pretty fun. I like the, what is it, Temple of Anubis, I think that's yes. what it's called. Yeah. yeah, where you take the like... first point and then you have to fight up towards the second point. Yeah, I like that one. That one's fun. Absolutely. Uh, the Hollywood map's not so bad. Yeah, I like that one too. Yeah, Goldshire Studios. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. <laughs> uh, Weekly Brawl. Oh my goodness, no pants. That, that that game mode. Everybody gets random heroes every time you die. You know, I still haven't played that game mode. Baka is I haven't either. That. That's we will bitch. today. Yeah, got three bastions in a row. Three bastions <laughs> in a row. What hey, the hell? Tearing shit up. Yeah. But, uh, See, he's like, fine, but he's on your team, Griff. So like yeah, when I'm bashing, yeah. <laughs> but when he's on the other, opposite team, he's like, ah, stupid little. All you that's, gotta do is okay, like get Genji and kill him. I don't mind bastions on the other team unless we're in certain circumstances, like that one map, uh, the take the take the point map, and the first one is in this like one area where there's only one fucking entrance and plenty of like p- places to put all of your people. There were we played that map last night, and there were. Two Bastions and a Torbjorn, so technically three turrets, just like parked around in a black uh, Widowmaker, just sniping people, and they had a Roadhog to keep people out in the front. Like they didn't have to do anything; they pretty much sat on easy mode. Oh, well, was... but but at, but I also think that you're you're still dealing with like early hours of a game because it's currently in beta, right? Right. So it's going to be one of those where somebody's going to figure out a way to a quick way to combat that to where that's going to go away. You know, that happens a lot in games because you'll have I a. I hope so because that is fucking awful. Which well, I mean, do you think about it? It's like, remember the noob combo from frickin' Halo, right? You had the, Dude, you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> everybody did it, but people figured out how to get around it. So it's like, okay, now you figured out how to adjust and you turn around and you do this, you know, the same, same type of thing. So it's, um, I don't know. I, I think that it's, it's going to be interesting because people are going to have to adjust. I think it's cool because somebody that, you know, you got these people that play Call of Duty and they're used to different guns, but they're not used to different, you know, abilities, um, and so that's what I think is cool is cause you're going to have these people that are used to that style of multiplayer. And it's like, how long does it take them to get back to call of duty? Or is this going to, is this not necessarily kill call of duty, but is it going to slow that, that whole thing down? Because like, you know, chicken said in the past, this is kind of a call game change. It's going to kill itself yeah, in sure. this year's intro. Like, I kind of hate to jump it on the news from there, but this week they showed off the new trailer for the call of duty and everything. And it's like, eh, okay, I think you guys might be done. I actually, I like it more than I did the other ones. I think that it's dumb because, hey, we already have sci-fi shooters. Call of Duty didn't have to do that. They had their place with military shooters. But, hey, why not? Let's go ahead and make Halo. I mean, I, Call of Duty. Yeah, well, but we also don't know exactly everything that's going on with it. But the other, also, the, to be fair, what does it matter? Like, I was thinking about it, and really, nobody plays those games for the campaign except for, like, a very tiny little group. And the campaign is super linear and handholds your way the whole through, way through. It's really not anything that's super special and the thing that everybody plays for is the multiplayer which is guns and people shooting people so really it doesn't matter what the setting is and now ships which we didn't get in battlefront <laughs> yeah dog fighting in space because that whatever call of duty go for it yeah but well, nobody else has done it and they had the opportunity to do it with one of the most popular franchises on the planet so um well star wars they're giving me uh, battlefront the... did it in the second one where there was dog fighting in space Back on PlayStation Two. Yeah. yeah. Back in the day. Back in as the we day. like to say. <laughs> Which, you know, 
yeah, they had an opportunity to do it in this new one, but instead of doing that, they went, hey, let's take this really great game and gut the fuck out of it and resell it back to them in pieces. You will never, ever, ever be happy about that. Oh, hell no. No, I will not. None of us will. <laughs> it's like I will never be happy with the Bay Turtles. I don't care if they throw Bebop and Rocksteady in the new one. Bay can go fuck himself. <laughs> so funny. is <laughs> <laughs> like, don't fuck Bay with Turtles. my childhood now. <laughs> I will ruin you, Bay. Oh, that's fine, though. I mean, we were I talking about the Call of Duty thing. And... Lulu. And maybe Call of Duty is going to ruin itself. It was their launch trailer was one of the most downvoted videos on YouTube for a couple of days there. Like it just got Almost constant. as bad as the Ghostbusters one. Yeah, yeah but I was... mean, but but it's not, this isn't the first time that's happened to them either. And it's always their own fans that are doing it. Um, and so that's like when you start reading the articles on everything that's on there, it's like this is not unusual. This happens to us all the time because you're going to have those people that hate Call of Duty. So they're just going to hit the button anyway, no matter what it shows up there. And then you're gonna have those people that go, "Oh my God, you're taking me to space! You're not, you're not doing my linear, regular maps anywhere I want to go. But you're I changing my game." I guarantee it will still completely handhold you. Shoot your rockets here. Fly this plane over here. Do this one thing right here and press this action button. I mean, like Call of Duty's campaigns for a long time have basically been like, "Here's a really long tutorial in which we'll show you new mechanics that you'll use once in this level and then never see again." So carry on. I, I, I agree to disagree on that one. It's just I I disagree with that. I've enjoyed their the campaigns. So That's fine. Well, I just need Modern Battlefield's Warfare gonna blow 4. shit out of the water though. I mean oh. World War One. I, I okay, Ooh. their number scheme is stupid, but same thing with Xbox. Seriously, guys, what the fuck? Yeah, but, they, hey, Battlefield they need one. To stop talking to each other. Seriously, <laughs> yeah, stop it. Nobody Going asked backwards. Microsoft how to count. Don't do it. Yeah, they're like uh, uh, zero three sixty one seven two. <laughs> well, but, but here's the thing: they can't do Battlefield two for the next one. Yeah, because they've already had a Battlefield. They've already had Battlefield. Or two, they'll so do like Battlefield a... two by two. Or two point five. Well, what I think it's gonna be is like the next one they could do Battlefield WW two, right? <laughs> you know, Wait. just like put in the I, like I don't know what you do or W two, War two. I don't know. What do, you, what do you do with that? I don't get it. So I don't you know. know. I'm very excited about that one, though. You know, if they're going, they they have they have sword. I saw a picture of a sword and a horse and whatnot on that one, right? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be able to ride horses. There's a flamethrower, as Ivy has what pointed if, out. What if they go even further back to like, I guess, what, like uh, to Far Cry uh, Primal? Yeah, yeah, kind of like that. Well, not that far back. You know, like horse fighting and sword fighting and things like that. What if they try their hand at something like that? I, would, I, I think would, the mechanics would on that are going to be difficult because how do you do a game in which most of your combat is horseback mounted without turning it into Dynasty Warriors? I mean, they've kind of done a game like that, though, Chicken. I mean, we played it for quite a while. Yeah, Chivalry. Yeah. I, I mean, that's essentially what it would turn into. It would just be, hey, let's do what Chivalry did and let's go back in evil, evil times. Well, we need another game like that. I mean, Chivalry is good. <laughs> Chivalry is good, but I mean, that's but the I only game that fills that Call niche. Ever doing Not Call of like Duty, Call Battlefield. Battlefield. Even Battlefield, Battlefield, I don't think so. Like, I think yeah. that their bread and butter is going to be Guns. like actual shooters. Yeah, but they're trying something new right here, and it's good. Like, this is what people want. And, well, and what are they going to do? Progress is always nice, but, but, but I think well, I just said it last week, or maybe the week before, that I really wish that they would go back to World War II. Well, hell, they they one upped me. They were like, fuck people you, we're going to World War One. for that forever. Like, yes. everybody yeah. wants to go back to the older wars because it's stuff that we're not getting to do on a regular basis. Like, I mean... Yeah. Well, and the other thing about it is, is I like it because, like, like I said before, it puts everyone on an even plane. It's not, oh my god, I just did this mod to my, my gun, so now I can kick your ass. It's, oh my god, World War One. holy shit, what kind of weapon is this? You know, my grand, my great great grandfather had to fire one of these some bitches. You know, I don't. It's it's very plain, and it puts it back into the skill of the player versus what the game is hand it hand holding you to 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 a multiplayer version, and that's what I loved about the old ones. Yeah, they've got to make sure that they do it right because I don't want mods on my gun back in World War One. I. I don't want a fucking extended flamethrower thing on my flamethrower and like triple canisters. Granted, there were triple canisters on that, but I'm talking about like <laughs> full body suits of flamethrowers. It's like no, keep it, keep it true. The, the, you're playing a historical kind of card here. Keep it historical. Don't so, don't modernize it, it. Well, and then set it up where like if you put a landmine down, it's like physically you have to have time to actually plant the landmine under the ground. Yeah, instead of just clicking thing. and throwing it. 
Yeah. So it's like you physically Still bearing like... landmines. <laughs> <laughs> they had that in World War One, right? Yeah, they yeah. called them moles. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get into that old trench warfare. Walk up on people in the trench and just flamethrower them. <sighs> <laughs> That's how we do it back in the old day. That would they be could add in like, like uh, actual World trench War. warfare and stuff. It'd be so fun. Yeah, well, they could also add in like airplanes and things like that to to, to use as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the That'd be fun. Fighter planes and things. Man. Next year we'll have World War One in space. Dog fights in the air. <laughs> <laughs> World War One. No. Why is the propeller not doing anything? Because you're in space, dipshit. <laughs> How am I breathing in space? Because you're in a video game. Duh. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to. It's a game. I know. I right? can only yeah. suspend disbelief for so long. Yes. Oh. Which is why I did not care for some of the what was it, Watch Dogs that I got upset about the crime thing. Yeah, I think it was Watch Dogs. Yes. Where it's uh, like, this crime has not yet been committed, but he's got a gun out. He's going to shoot. Okay. Just whatever, game. The fuck ever. <laughs> My game biggest game. gripe with Call of Duty is that it's not going to let me have Call of Duty 4 without buying the whole, like, the fucking Super the Collector's edition. edition. And that makes me so goddamn salty. I told you they're going to tack it on to fucking sell it. Ooh. Ooh, I just want to go over there, beat him up, and take a copy. You can borrow mine. I'm really excited about that, but nobody's really, like, people aren't that excited about Infinite Warfare. They're excited about Modern Warfare. I know, right? Okay. Oh, the remastered you version looks so good. You gotta spend the extra for all of it. it, yeah. was, it remastered was like... version looks good. I like the I like the the new direction they're going with the one that they've got on there. I just, I want to see gameplay of it, though. Like, I don't want, you know. We're not gonna. I, we might see something at E3. Yeah, I think we will. We'll see something at E3 or or one of the uh, shows this summer. You'll yeah. see something pop out. Probably. Probably. Hopefully, we see more of Scalebound at E3. Yeah, I don't you think heard? so. I don't think we're gonna see Scalebound at all this year. I, I swear they, they just released that. a new Sorry. trailer. I'm pretty sure they didn't. I'll double check for you real I don't quick. Remember, I don't remember seeing a new trailer for it. Well, I just saw like a new trailer or something about it. I don't think hmm. so. Huh. Uh, Please no. hold. I, I'm looking. I don't see anything that says that. I mean, it says that it's supposed to be released next year, but I swear that I read an article that said that we weren't going to see it for a while. Hmm. No, I don't see any new stuff. Sorry, man. Well, there is new Dawn of War coming out, though. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. What is, which one is Dawn of War? I know it's one that you guys play. Dawn of War is the uh, Warhammer uh, game. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I've Dawn seen the War. thing on that one, yeah. Dawn of yeah, War 3. It's... Eldar Orc and Space Marines, from the looks of it so far, is the uh, the races in it. Although, technically, in the Warhammer universe, there's quite a few more, including Chaos and Necrons, which I enjoy playing. There's a Chaos, like a group of people called Chaos. Yeah, yeah. they're basically uh, Space Marines and other humans or whatever that have been corrupted by the Chaos powers of the demons and things like that. They're basically demon worshippers. Oh. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of armies and stuff like that, and like they've even expanded into recently in the tabletop game where like they have demon as their own codex and army, where that's what they basically generally are are pretty much all the demons and stuff that normally would be special forces or special little characters or something like that in your chaos army. Well, now they have their own army to run around with. Hmm. Yes, okay. Super awesome. I cannot wait to kind of see what they do. I, I really enjoyed Warhammer 40k. Dawn of War, Dawn Dawn of War, Dawn of War Two Dawn is War what we two. played, which we yeah. need to finish the last one on that one, by the way. Okay, yeah, we got a lot of things to do. We need to play. Uh, <laughs> we need to finish our Heroes ranked game so that we can get placed and then get a bunch of rewards. What kind totally of rewards do you get for that? Um, hold on one second. Let me go ahead and find. Oh, I thought you would just know since you were all excited about it. Uh, it's different uh, rewards. Amount system. is one of them. Yeah, amount, a portrait, uh, like four thousand gold and something else. Oh, nice. Yeah. Depending on your rank when you... Uh... We're, we're totally going undefeated, so we're going to be number one. Definitely. Definitely going to be undefeated, you guys. I think I think legitimately we could probably end up in diamond or platinum ranks. Really? Nice job. Yeah. 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 Work pretty well together, so... Mm -hmm. And the team, like, once you get up into the higher ranks, people know how to play the fucking game, so that when you ping, go here, do this, they go there and do that, so... 
And they don't hop in the giant plant or something and go, I'm going to go running all the way up here and go attack their plant thing and then go running all the way back to our base like a little kid. No, stop it. Go kill their shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like, that shit, I can't tell you how... Get all out right. there and murder somebody. So the plant has two abilities. It has a speed boost, uh, a plant that you, a seed that you plant that uh, constricts all buildings within the radius and makes it so that they can't shoot or anything and takes damage over time. And then a polymorph okay. thing where they sit down and anybody that walks through it has two pulses if you walk through it turns you into a sheep and you can't do anything so the objective is to take the fucking plant run to enemy fort drop it in drop the seed in the middle of their fucking base freeze their fortress their towers and their gates then destroy everything but people fucking run to the enemies and just start hitting them it's like no no you're being kited you're being guided you're dead you're dead you, you fucking <laughs> suck get the hell off my team oh so things like that are, are supposed to build momentum for your side, like get you ahead or get you even, things like that. But mm -hmm. people just don't are do dumb. that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they run yeah. around like they have no idea what the hell they're doing in it, and I don't even know how they're in a ranked game at that point. Yeah, no. Bl Blizzard Magic. is on fucking point with their games this year, except for World of Warcraft. They seem to be faltering in that department, unfortunately. Why do you think that they're faltering there? I told I was talking to you last night about this. How much content they put out? I mean, seriously, they haven't done anything for uh, Warlords of Draenor in like five months. Hmm. It's it's very because most of their, their attention has been towards the other games. Like at this point, like I understand, like a lot of people really still enjoy World of Warcraft and, and everything, but uh, especially with the movie and everything coming out, I really would not be surprised if. With the content or the the lore changes that they're doing with the movie, that they are getting ready to do something like World of Warcraft two to go along with the new lore changes. Really, you think they do that? Maybe EverQuest did it. When EverQuest got mm -hmm. tired of releasing like twenty thousand expansions, they the servers were still up afterwards, but they did like EverQuest two, where it was kind of like a if this happened instead, these are the events that are starting to play out now. Yep. Mm, I see. Yeah, it's just probable. I mean, back in the day, uh, I was telling you last night, between the Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King, they came out with 32 dungeons. 32 dungeons. Between uh, Mists of Pandaria and Warlords of Draenor, they came out with, like, 15. Mm. 17 different. Like, their, their content is just not there anymore. They expect people... And I understand that people complained about... Like, uh, the Botanica, Architraz, and the other one were basically all the same model, but different, you know, dungeons. They use the same creatures and whatnot. And then, to me, that's fine. It's still different dungeons to do. It's options of things to do. Where right. this one, it's like, this is this dungeon. It's different. Okay. It's like, all right, but you can give me, like, but two it was, or three of but them. But the thing with those dungeons were the, it was the fact that they were all set up pretty much in the exact same little buildings right there. Right, that's why they were... So it were... makes sense why they were all the same creatures and stuff. Yep. So, I mean, it's just... Even if it is somewhat similar, I still, I'm still i still okay with that. More content to kind of play with, rather than just doing the literal same dungeon, same mobs, same boss, again and again and again and <laughs> again. That shit gets so fucking old, and it's just reusing yeah. the content. Well, the other benefit for them, if they did do something like a World of Warcraft 2, would be the fact that it would give them an opportunity to actually update and rework like combat mechanics and things like that because there's a lot of mmos and stuff out now where it's like you know you actually have to keep clicking to attack and it's not just hit a few buttons or roll your face across the keyboard and there you, there you, <laughs> won't, you go you win right but rep pally oh my god if I, all right somebody did uh elwyn forest westfall and dark duskwood in uh, the unreal 4 engine oh my god if World of Warcraft redid their game in the Unreal 4 engine, that shit would be the highest selling game known to man. Period. Like, people who don't even play World of Warcraft would be like, where am oh I my at? God. Like, the guy who is actually making it is building it for a VR rig so that you could just throw a VR on and be like, walk around the area. You can't do anything. You could see the mobs and things like that, but you can't do anything, and that's fine. That is an incredible... You want to, to live take. there, I know. Yes, yes. It looks so good. It's so spooky. So spooky. Spooky. <sighs> Thank God there's nobody there, else the real spooky part would be when is the horde going to jump out and murder me? <laughs> or stitches. 
Going back in the old days. <laughs> Stitches, where's he at? I hear him. He's almost as scary as fucking, and I'm going to jump back to Overwatch, uh, Junkrat's fucking rip tire. Oh. oh, shit. Someone climb up a wall. <laughs> That's hilarious. Every time you hear that tire, everybody's like, move. Where is it? <laughs> Everyone's group up. Everyone scatter. Unless it's unless it's your team, and then the question is, is that ours or theirs? Which junk rat just did that? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> if I'm ever playing a character that can jump, fly, or anything, you can just see me running up a wall. It's like, rrr, rrr, and I'm up the wall looking for it. Like, where the hell is that shit? I don't want to die. I think uh, we all do that. Like, everybody just fucking takes off. Mm, like, nope, I'm out. I'm everybody out. knows that fucking. Tire it's very shine. satisfying blowing that thing up too. Mm-hmm. <sighs> mm-hmm. Well, Especially if you get right people, up in there. Yes, if not, you're like, ah, fuck. You get it right up in there in their team, and they're just like, oh, my God, what happened? And your life feels good, man. <laughs> you and your feels good, man. Feels uh, good. Feels good, man. <laughs> you're funny. Oh, you're funny. Oh, I never got to say my favorite hero. Oh, okay. Go for it. McCree. Todd, dude. Oh, you're kill. Like Oh my god. Like, I was talking about that last night. They're like, what? And I was like, I'm telling you right now that uh, using that ultimate and nearly eliminating the entire team on the other side was unreal. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that, that high noon is so fucking beautiful. You just, and it's so intimidating too, because if you're on the other team, you just see him like slowly walking up because he walks when he does it. And then you're like, there he is. Oh shit. Pop, 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 pop. Team shit kill. Balls. Well, fuck. Mm. And you're all dead now. Yep. And then fucking throw down a flashbang, unload your thing, roll to reload, unload it again. Kills anybody. It is beautiful. McCree is fucking amazing. I, I like I like I, that's cute. I play a little a little bit of him last night and just trying to get the mechanics and stuff down from him and it was it was fun though. Like it was like learning how he works and, and uh, but it was because of your kill that I wanted to play him, right? Because oh. it's like, oh wow. His That's ult badass. is very hard to use because you got to time it so that it lights up and whatnot. Sometimes mm -hmm. you'll just die before you get it off. So unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> but when you get it right, yes. Feels good, man. Yes. I didn't want to say it again, so. Yeah. My new phrase for this fucking game, too. Play the game of the play. He cannot say it any other way. Nope. It's always game of the play. Mm -hmm. Instead of play of the game. Yep. I don't know why. <laughs> Apparently my fucking words are just mixed around. Even if I know what That's I'm trying okay. to say, it oh, still says it's all the alcohol. Play. Yeah, I wasn't even I drunk and I still say game of the play. I've come up with like like this game has prompted me to just start making new curse words. I thought she was about to say make alcohol there for a second because he just <laughs> said there. I wish I could make alcohol. Jeez. Save some money that way, but no. Oh, new curse words. Little moonshine in the bathtub. <laughs> no. No. I, I love it when she goes eight shit out of people, weeks. too. She, she's a big well, we old got moonshine. Winston fan. She likes to go ape shit on people. I, I love Winston. Like, really? I really, the first time I saw him, I'm like, I'm not going to play him. I have no interest, like, zero interest in playing the monkey. I think that was actually my exact words. I have zero interest in playing the monkey. And then I was like, ah, fuck it. I'm going to play him. Oh, man. He has got to be in, like, my top five. I love him so much. You just jump, like, straight up launch yourself into the group and just start smacking people around. She got, fuck uh, this. She got game of the play, too. <laughs> play of the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got a, a good Winston game of the Yep. And uh she's the reason we won that one. Yeah. <laughs> that Jumping was, in. You know what's that game, like right before I got that play, I had just gotten back up from, from dying because I had jumped to I was trying to jump over the bridge so that I could get to that to where they were at and I missed and fell. I had just killed myself. So I <laughs> redeemed myself like immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. But yes, when since really good champ. Uh they're all pretty fucking balanced. Uh Reinhardt. Glitches? Hey. Found any glitches? I have not found any. Have you found any more Bacchus since I... that one that you found? He's no, I think. don't think I... Yeah, I don't think I found any more. The only one I found so far was when I was playing Para, and I was... Uh, I think it was in the London map. I went flying up uh, really high and went up into a corner of a building where there's not supposed to be a platform or anything, and I got stuck up there, so I was just firing rockets down. <laughs> 
So I was like, okay, fuck it. Boom, 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 boom. I think the only thing I've seen, like, last night, Reaper's name got stuck on my screen. Like, when you're in the pregame and it's it's all the characters, and if you highlight them, it, it you know, darkens their name so you can see who they are. Well, for some reason, it highlighted... I wasn't even playing him. I was playing Winston. But I highlighted him, and then his nameplate was just stuck on my screen for the whole time. Like, it didn't go away till I, I stopped playing. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it constantly, next to my little health bar at the bottom and everything, had Reaper's name. I'm like, uh... Mm. Does that mean he's gonna kill me? Is this... I had I had one where um, uh, there was no sound of the game at all. Like everything else on the Xbox had complete sound. That's weird. And so I had to log out to the home home screen, quit the game, and then go back into it in order to get it. Oh, thinking of it, I did have one bug, just one, and it had happened three times. Um, when I spawned up as Diva after dying, you can hear like I th- no 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 it's Widowmaker. You can hear uh, like gunshots like Dah, like her gun when it's shooting, uh, huh. but then when I shoot her gun, it, the sound goes away. So it's like okay, I guess. So the, you're stuck with the constant sound until you start shooting again. Like when you spawn up, it sounds like she's shooting her gun. But she's, but not, she's not, and then you shoot your gun, and the sound goes away. It's so until you die again, you don't run into that problem, right? Well, no, you just got to shoot your gun, and that's it. Okay. And sometimes it'll happen again, like it happens one game, didn't happen again for a while, and then it happened again after a while again. And it's just very simple. I guess it's like a sound loop. It gets mm-hmm. It's stuck. happened to me in Fallout a couple of times. The sound gets stuck after you die, and so you resurrect. Or one of my companions, it's happened a couple of times with Hancock when he has the uh, the big minigun out, where it's like I'm constantly hearing the minigun sound, but nobody's shooting, and there's no combat anywhere, and things are just weird. Yeah. yeah. So I you guess like that's the, a common game problem. Do you, do you prefer the game type of you've got the two points that move, um, or do you prefer the one where you're defending one and that one piece moves and you have to escort it? Oof. I like both. Like I, I like the fact that it's all objective gameplay and that it's not so much. And I think Spring might have been the one talking about it on the, the forums. But the fact that it's not just team deathmatch, it's always objectives. Either objective, I love. And that I just mm-hmm. think it's great. That goes back to my. Re- I want to reiterate my point. But I used to go on tangents about I like PvPVE. This, mm-hmm. this is kind of what I mean: is player versus player. Versus mm-hmm. the environment, which is the objective, is you're mm-hmm. gonna get the uh, the combat over the objective, and that that's mm-hmm. that's why World of Warcraft is fully objective based in its PvP, except for arenas. Uh, Heroes of the Storm is fully objective based. Overwatch is fully objective based. Like there's no just go and beat up your enemy. Like it's all balanced around objectives. Which See, is- I pref- I actually prefer the escort one because I think it's cool because you have the set point. But you're going to have people that, like you were complaining earlier about some people setting with Bastion and all that stuff in one little doorway or whatever, and you can't get to it. I like the fact that that moves, and now you have to figure out what to do if you're the opposite team while it's moving, right? Unless you get a Bastion sitting on it with a Reinhardt right in front of him and a Mercy behind him. <laughs> then it's like... i done that one. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Bastion becomes the turret. Reinhardt becomes the shield. <sighs> Yeah, fuck that. Versus, just keeps everything alive. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> when you gotta really think outside the fucking box. It's like, oh, bitch, you want to play like that? I'm gonna get diva, get my ultimate, and throw my suit at you. Eat that's shit. how we ended up. That's how we ended up winning last night. One of our games, they had already escorted it all the way to our little area, and like the front bumper is sitting in the circle. It's got to get into, and uh, I ended up getting Bastion and was standing still and annihilated a lot of them that were in one little corner that were coming in from one side, and then I went around the opposite side, and whoever was playing Mercy was just juicing me up the whole time. Um, But the problem was the dude with the shield was running in front of me, so he'd bump into me, you know, it's like, and then he would stand in front of me. It's like, I can't shoot anybody if you're standing in front of me, right? So uh, ran into a little bit of problem with that, but it was funny because, you know, because it starts going back the opposite direction. So it would be moving back the other way, and so I, it was it was very interesting to watch. But we ended up winning. Uh, there was like sixty seconds, I think, left on the clock when they got into the circle, that front part into the circle, and we were able to to hold them off. But it was it was very interesting. 
Yes, I but, love the overtime mechanic. That was very well done by them. Like, mm-hmm. if the objective is not done and someone's contesting it, overtime. Then get them off of it, hold it, hold it, and then you win. Or uh, we've won in overtime before. You get on the objective and then you push it all the way to the next one and you get time back. It's like, oh, yes. Feels great, man. <laughs> oh. But uh, as Ivy was saying, Chicken pushed the payload halfway across the map with the rest of us fighting behind him. I was playing Lucio, and let me tell you, I'd love that some bitch. You fucking go into speed boost mode, you pump it up, and you just shoot past the whole team. Like, I'm just literally, because he skates on walls, I was skating around the payload on the walls of it, just, like, distracting them. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, where did he go? And I'm just standing next to the payload, escorting it. Checkpoint one, and then checkpoint two, and I see the whole team running up behind me. I'm like, oh, shit, they saw me. And then you just skate around it while they can't hit you, healing yourself. Oh, man, Lucio is awesome. Really awesome. He's my favorite support. Then Mer- oh. Then Mercy, Symmetra, no. See, I only have one then support Yana, that I like. And then Symmetra. I don't know. I like them all. I can't pick them. I feel bad for putting them in order. Symmetra's pretty cool. Um, I like her. Uh, I like Mercy a lot. It's just the the problem that you have with her is, you know, you got to hide <laughs> if you got her, or you like you got to be behind something mm-hmm. anytime you're trying to heal somebody. That's the only problem I have with her. I like her so, little. Yeah. If you're out in the open, she's gonna she's target number one. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Every time I see her, I'm like, Mm-mm, she gonna die. Mm-hmm. That's why you gotta always make sure that you fly away from whatever is trying to hit you. Like, uh, Red was playing Widowmaker, and I was healing him, and he did his little grappling hook to fly away, and I flew with him because you can fucking fly <laughs> with him. Or he ran around the corner and flew up, and I went right with him. It's all about being able to follow your uh, follow your target and avoid getting one shot. So. Yes. <laughs> That's a good thing to avoid. Yes, you know, that's very good. The standard practice there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Zen is really fucking good. Uh, he he's my have... favorite. Yeah. Who? Zenyatta. Zenyatta. He's my mm. favorite support. He's the only support I like. I don't think I've, I've played he's him. He's the floaty like guy. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've played him. I played with little him a little hand bit. Things. I like oh. him, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's my favorite. Awesome. I, I, the thing I like about him, because he's the one that, with your friends, you can send the orbs to for the yep. healing. And yeah. then the enemies, you can send the opposite to where they can take more damage. Yep. Mm-hmm. Or the, where they where they get uh, more damage to them. So I like that because I could sit back. I would actually sit behind No Pants, who was, who was playing Bastion, and I could sit back and send out orbs to our guys. And he could tell me if he needed more support. And then I could send out the other orbs to theirs. As they were coming in, because we were defending an area, right? Right. And so we'd do that. Um, unfortunately, they had a dude that came through as a, he was also a bastion, I think, and he comes through and just annihilates me and No Pants, and then most of our team. And he, that guy ended up getting game of the play. As you uh, like yeah, to say. I was just about to say <laughs> game of the play. <laughs> yeah. Uh... He did. He ended up getting game of the play. So <laughs> <there you go. laughs> everyone's gonna start saying that it's like game of the play. You mean play the game? I want a shirt that says that now. By the way. <laughs> game of the play. Look, guys, I got game of the play. What, what do you, don't you mean play the game? No, not no. at all. That's okay. Um, I mean, Ivy and I have got um our lob and blob, which is what she's talking about, which is junk rat. You just lob the grenades. I don't know what the bob part of it is, but we don't care. Lob and blob. Oh. Bob. You gotta hit people in the face with those things. It's like getting hit in the face by exploding pool Dude, balls. Nothing, nothing hurts other people's morale uh, more than throw it. Like just having somebody as junk rat sit in the back, and all of a sudden you get showered with grenades out of nowhere. And you're like, where the fuck was that motherfucker even at? Five seconds later, you see the kill cam, and it's like across the map. You're like, oh, fucking balls. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I guess so in his case. <laughs> uh... Yes. We're getting pulled in by Roadhog and blasted in the face. As soon as that hook hits, you're like, no, don't take me. And yep, then every time I get hooked, I'm like, please, no. Like, please Stun. Don't kill him. Or dragons. Hanzo's dragons. You hear that fucking dinosaur. Rah! And everyone's like, no, where? And they yeah. come out of the wall, and you're like, fuck, we're all dead now. Yeah. <laughs> now that we all know how to avoid D.Va's fucking uh, exploding thing, it's not so bad. Yeah, that's not as bad anymore now that we know. Yes. Unless you don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, if you like, don't know you where it's coming from, you're You see the little shiny particle on the screen. You're like, it's somewhere. Where is it? And you're trying to hide behind something, but you end up standing right next to it and it explodes. You're like, ah, fuck. Fucking noodles. <laughs> God damn it. 
It's a very Overwatch centric show, but don't even care. Yes, don't care. It's so well, good. It's not like yeah. there's a whole lot in the news to talk about other than the stuff we've already talked about. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, there is information uh, I saw that you'd posted on here. Fallout for the Far Harbor trailer um, has oh, come out. Oh, it looks out. really good. Yeah, I'm super it pumped about it. it. Looks fantastic. I mean, you get to spend more time with Nick Valentine. You, you can never go wrong there. Yeah. I'm super pumped about it. I just I played it, like I put it on there, but I used it. And I was like, well, we probably won't get to it, which is fine because everybody kind of seems to zone out when I start talking Fallout. So I just was like, eh. If we talk about it, we will. If not, I'll just be excited about it on my own. Well, the trailer does look really fucking good. I mean, Bethesda does a really fucking good job with, you know, their Everything. games. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bethesda, Blizzard, uh, Bioware come together, create me an MMO of epic proportions. Oh my god. I don't know. We'd never get through it. Yeah, like, no shit. that'd just be way too fucking much content. Uh, oh. I'd be like... It'd be a massive world and... and uh, it'd yeah, be massive be world, for, like, massive RPG elements with, like... Holy shit! You could play them from any type of view you wanted to. Like yeah. so it'd be like, it's like you want a third person, we got your third person. You want first person, you got first person. You want top I down, we got that too. Wow, and, and first person mode. Yeah, but nobody plays WoW in first person mode. Yeah, why would you do that to yourself? I know, right? You're just not. It's probably, it's probably the people that like to not to move out of the fire. Yeah, probably huh. those people. Because how do you see your, your AOE effects if you're in first person, I guess? Yeah, or the people that play with their fucking ground clutter all the way oh, down. God, and people are like, limited perspective. Why are you yelling at me about the fire? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pull your camera out. Pull your camera out. Out of Pull where? Pull your camera out of your ass. Oh. You're about to shove it up there if you don't fucking learn. Actually, it'd basically be out of the back of their fucking head. Like, eh. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> well, in some people's cases... <laughs> oh. oh my god just saying <laughs> I guess uh, um, Baka uh, and I could have we decided yet um, what we're going to do for our next let's play like 100% um, are we doing Saints Row is that what our plan is we can I mean I know we've been discussing what other games we could probably go through co-op wise but I, I don't think we've really figured out any other games at this point Okay, Maybe well, we should do, like, a poll or get some suggestions somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm, the reason I'm asking is because we will finish up Dying Light this week. This week's videos will be the last of Dying Light because we will be recording the finale today. Um, so everybody should be watching that, and if you're not, I don't know why. I mean, we got grappling hooks and we're fucking Spider-Man and zombies. Spider box and they're setting you? teammates on fire and... What? I don't know. I didn't. I can't hear you over all of the flames that I just surrounded you with, Baka. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you being a bitch about it. <laughs> you called me a bitch. Hey, at least she me. helped you up. If that <laughs> was me, I would have left your ass for dead. I actually <laughs> it was the fucking zombies up there to it, eat you. It's still hilarious, too, because you just you just hear him go, you fucking, fucking bitch. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just dying. Uh, and if you're not like, watching these Let's Plays, you're doing life wrong. <laughs> and you're just uh, staring at his corpse well, because i was waiting on the burning. fire to go out because i didn't want to i didn't want you to better put me out you better put me out now <laughs> you better come help me <laughs> come help me now <laughs> yeah uh, yeah i'll he, get there keep your shirt on then he dives head first into all the zombies right after that no that was me <laughs> well yeah <laughs> like, got you got plan. to the opposite go. side yeah i couldn't Ooh. figure out where to get up so i kept like just <laughs> Bunny hopping on zombie's head, and I eventually ran out of sand, and I was like, no, they're attacking me. <laughs> oh, Where did goodness. you go? <laughs> I'm up here. Bunny hopping, uh -huh. I'm so turned around. <laughs> no pants at a racing game. Fuck that nonsense. Uh, <laughs> Griff is not a racer. I don't know how Baka isn't racing, but I'm going to guess that it's probably at least marginally better than me. Uh, I can do pretty good at Mario Kart. Any other racing game, I'm pretty bad at. <laughs> We're not co op in Mario Kart. Like, you think I got. I, like, get mad in, in Overwatch and start making up curse words. You try to get me racing and losing? Oh, no. Ain't nobody need to see that. Ain't nobody got the ears for that. <laughs> uh, you can always play. <laughs> so much blasphemy. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know what else there is. Um. Uh, <laughs> I just don't know what, what Baka and I have like in common, like games that we already have that we could play together, because I don't think either one of us are in the position right now to run out and spend a whole bunch of money. Hmm. So, oh my god, y'all didn't win the lottery? What? Right? No, right. I wish. Well, in that well, news, somebody, 
Somebody won the the four hundred twenty nine million dollar lottery single ticket. Tear. It was not me. <laughs> if it was, I wouldn't be here today. No, <laughs> we'd still Saints be here. Row... We'd be making announcements about infinite respawn. Dude, I would <laughs> if I'd be like, "Hey guys, I won the lottery," and then pull a lever and money would fall down on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, "This is the only time in life that I could actually do this." Yay! It's ready money. <laughs> Uh, we could still do that. It had to be Monopoly money, but we could still do that. Actually, I was thinking just, the same thing, Buck. <laughs> well, you know, I could just get like five hundred dollars in ones and just, you know, yay! I'm rich. I'm poor people rich. I'm poor, <laughs> poor, poor people. Rich. I want the tax return. Wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody wins the tax return. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I did not win the tax return this year. You could co-op uh, Far Cry Four. Isn't that co-opable? Co-opable? We don't, co-op-able. neither one of us. Far Cry well, 4 is not, not out yet. <laughs> not Far Cry 4. Is it Far Cry? Yeah, Far Cry you 4. S- yeah. Oh, Far Cry 4. My what the hell I are you know. thinking? My brain completely I'm like, it's just like, what's your favorite game? Sure Am I insane? Good. My brain changed that to Uncharted. Oh. I, my brain said Uncharted 4, and all of a sudden, like, Nolan North is in my head, and I'm like, yeah, that's Uncharted 4. We don't know. It's not. But... Damn it. Uh, only some of the missions are co-opable. Yeah, it's, I think it's mostly Co-op-able. like taking outposts. Co-op. I don't think that's the right word. Co-op. Because I want to see the rants and the really badness of it. I think you should do Unity. Because isn't it co-op? Oh, no, co-op-able? only certain missions no, only are co-op. Co-op. Yeah, we've already yeah we already tested that before we started doing mm. Dying Light. Oh, and, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, there was some epic fails, that, basically yeah, to the point to where I went buck stealth and I started just running around with a giant fucking axe. We might do <laughs> some of those yeah. missions as as little shorts or something so yeah griff yeah. kept kind of fucking up the stealth part of it so i was like fuck it i'm gonna get an axe i'm just gonna be shit her, things her mess up stealth i would never have thought that before yeah, yeah i know mess up every bit of stealth. Come on now Give me some credit a good chunk of it but not every bit and that is the important part here most <laughs> of it you know some of it most of it whatever close enough i hate you guys no you don't <laughs> Well, even if you do, you tolerate us. But yes, we'll be wrapping up. Now it's like every game that I've just thought about in the past 15 minutes has just played through my mind, except for the game that we're playing. I was like, Fallout, Far Cry, Saints Row, Dying Light. We're playing Dying Light. <laughs> I, I just want to go what? back and play more Overwatch. Like, fucking ruin me. And then I have to wait until the 24th the to Chief play. Collection. We can go co- co-op through that, couldn't we? Actually, I was thinking about that. I was it's not a bad idea, that, actually. Um, and I think I kind of want to see if Red wants to play, but at the same time, he's so scarce on the weekend. Sometimes I'm afraid we'll never get through it. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. So, I, well, I mean, so wait, I've never you. played. I never played through like, completely the stories of Halo One or Two. All right. Well, and, Master Chief Collection, it is. And to be fair, the that's first, a good idea. The first two are, I want to say, only. Two player, yeah. I think we've had this yes. discussion before. Yeah, two you two can't player. you can't do four player. Three was until the first three. one that brought four player in. Yes. Okay. 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 Good. Yes, we can do that. Gears. Ivy said gears. Um. Oh, we need to play like Gears of War too, Baca, bro. Yes. I think yes, Baca and Chicken streamed the Gears of War remaster. Yeah, we did the did first. One, yeah. He's okay. mine for yeah. gears. <laughs> Ivy, you and I will have to play gears on our own. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, unless you, when you guys get to three, we'll play with you. Yeah, that'd actually be a good idea. Me and Chicken can go through two, and then... When you guys catch uh, up. And we'll then we can all go through part three. Yeah. I don't even know if Ivy and Nopan still have their 360. Do you guys have 360 still? Wait, we have it all on fucking... It should be oh, on yeah, one if they own it. backwards compatible. Yeah, right, I, was gonna I forgot. Say... I forgot they did that. Yep. Because you got two and um, two Wait, three along with the... Do you still get it? Because I know it was a... Uh, it was one of you those... You had to, type... like... Play it, get it, and play it within a certain time period. Yeah, but we, I have it on mine, and if I download it and then I go over to yours, you should be able to download it on there. Yeah, it should. It, it should. Share. I believe. I think. I. I think the time period was a reasonable amount of time too. It's not we'll like it's. It out. Yeah, know, we'll two weeks it out. after you get it in there. Blah blah blah. No, it's not that's like what that. she said. Uh, but uh. <laughs> but yeah, I have to download Gears Two, and then we'll play that. We gotta play Gears Two. We gotta play Dawn of War Two. We gotta play Heroes. We gotta play Overwatch. We got everything. Let's just quit our jobs, everybody. We have too many games to play. If someone would play, All right, play agreed. games, I'd Quitting now. And done. All right, and done. <laughs> We're all now unemployed. Woo-hoo. You guys uh, watching the stream right now will have to support us. 
Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Yep. Sorry, not that sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, moderately sorry. Don't worry, I'll kick sorry. my pop addiction. Sometime, someday. <laughs> yeah, right. Someday. Yeah, yeah right. Someday. I said someday. Uh, I'll... One of the things in the news that we haven't talked about yet, and it was something that it, uh, finally after I'd gotten my PC up and running everything else that I noticed that they had updated Steam um, when I was actually looking for stuff the other day to where now the recent reviews, um, like what, what the reviews most recently are now popping up on there, which I thought was pretty neat. So instead of having just here's the reviews and here's what everybody's saying, these are all bad you get recent. So some of these like early access and stuff like that, where you have the reviews and things. Um, I thought that was a, kind of a neat concept, um, especially like y'all were talking about doom before, uh, to where it wasn't getting very good reviews. It was kind of mixed on a lot of stuff. And now it like now some of the stuff is more positive, um, that they've got on there, which is pretty cool. I think. Um, I saw an article about that and I didn't read it, but I was actually curious as to why it was an article. It said that that, that whole thing, was a bad yeah. idea. Like, it actually ruined the way the reviews were. I think, I guess maybe it's because the most recent you'd see things that are, like, the knee-jerk reactions, like what everybody had to, um... But it's only the last 30 days, so now it would, like, be good that would be, for... I know, which is, I thought that was kind of weird, too, because, like I said, I saw that, and I think, I I skimmed the article, but I was, I was busy at work. I was trying to multitask, and it just didn't happen. But, um, I... Th- think that was the premise behind it was that it can hurt you like right out of the gate but at the same time that was my thought process was what you said which was it's 30 days so you're right out the gate it's it's still a recent review right right Right. so i don't know it was just a weird thing to me i think it's actually going to be good for the games too because you know games six or seven months down the road are going to have a better review if people actually like it then they're going to be like hey this Mm -hmm. game is fucking good here Mm -hmm. go i got lots of hours played in it well, right. like I said, it, it makes a whole lot more sense, like, because, you know, like, you've always been very leery of early access anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and so with very few exceptions, like ARC, things like that. So you've always been very, very um, uh, cautious about trying to, to get into a game like that. And so I like it because we use ARC as an example. Let's say that in the first two months people had gotten it or whatever and the reviews were mixed or not real good. But now you look at it and the reviews are very positive over the last 30 days. I think that that's where uh, it's going to really help a lot of people is because you're going you're gonna to turn around and go, okay, they're improving this. They've improved this. They've improved this. Okay, this might actually give me the possibility I want to download this game, right? Versus before where I would have not wanted to do this at all based on the reviews that were set up because you only had one that was sitting there. Because if you've got first five months, you've got – 5,000 bad, right? right and in the right. next two months, you've got 2,000 good. Well, what outweighs the other? Well, the bad does, right? So now it's like, let's look at the last 30 days or so and see how that works. So I think it's a cool concept, really. Yeah, it also shows uh, support for the game, too. Like, say they were kind of, you know, just taking their time updating the game, and then these last 30 days, they've been constantly putting out stuff, kind of fixing the game. The reviews are going to be good for this last 30 months. Hey, they've been updating the game. This is a game to look at. Next 30 days, it's like, oh, they're still updating, still good reviews. But if you stop that support, you're going to start getting bad reviews, and then that's going to start showing in your review system. It's like, oh, they're not mm-hmm. updating anymore. Don't buy this game. So right. you get to see how the game is in the last 30 days. Is it right. good? Are they updating? Yeah. All right, good. Good reviews. Things like that. I think it's pretty good for games like that, too, like people who stop fucking supporting or take months to get a damn update out. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I think it'll help people. I want to people. get that for that. No shit. There are a lot of fucking money sinks in the Steam green light too. Isn't that supposed to go away this year? Steam green light? Yeah. I don't know. I actually hadn't heard anything about that. Yeah. Yeah. They had mentioned it once before last year. I think that they were looking, working on eventually kind of moving away from that. But yeah, because every Tom, Dick, and Harry can fucking create a game, take your money, and then disappear. Right. Oh, well, that's true. So that, that's that's why they wanted to step away from something like that. Well, that yeah. makes sense. I mean, that's burned too many times, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's gonna happen for sure. <laughs> but it shouldn't, because people. It should not. Be not. It should not happen. No. It should not happen at all. No. 
People stop being assholes, God. What's wrong with you? So how many more days we got to Overwatch? Two now. Today and tomorrow. Okay. I'll be streaming it tomorrow. Are you guys at the specific time tomorrow? What? Is it supposed to cut off at this particular time? Uh, it's going to cut off Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. So you're just going to play it all night? Is what you're going to do? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> if I Wish. could, I would. But that's okay. <laughs> I'll get it out of my system. And then get it out of your for system. It, yeah, right. Wait for it till it comes out and releases, and then I'm going to be all over it. Again. 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 <laughs> you, could be a, you, could, you could be a, like a pro player, right? Yeah, I, I think pro I could. Overwatch player. It's probably oh, yeah. gonna have an esports side to it, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. there was already a professional uh, team looking to play or looking to. It disbanded, unfortunately, because the people weren't playing together enough. But, there uh, was a um, there was a thing uh, that Twitch was running. Actually, it was like a hashtag. If you added the hashtag into your stream name or whatever, that you could have a possibility of they fly you out to somewhere and then you play as part of a tournament. Holy shit. I already played against the developers in Dreadnought. I don't want to get my ass beat that bad in public again. <laughs> uh, one time is enough for me. I still like think to... you're set up handicap-wise, right? I would Cause... love to fucking go at them now, motherfuckers. I know what I'm doing. I dare them to try me again. <laughs> fucking kill their asses this time around. Is that is that something that could be competitive? Dreadnought? Oh, Absolutely. Not... It's it's a little bit slower paced and it's kind of uh, but it's all action like you just fight that game works for a deathmatch style too mm -hmm. like yeah yeah uh, it's a little bit slower paced because ships can take a lot of damage and things like that but uh, trick plays that the the Corvette can do can really you know shake up the way of the game especially if you're playing elimination mode you know you sneak in you kill their sniper or sniper's gone that's it you can you don't respawn it's really good. So I think something like that would be really fucking neat. That's pretty awesome. Cool beans. Anything else, guys? Uh, I'm going to go play fun. Overwatch. No. Yeah. Actually, I need to I play I would not Ark. have believed y'all were going to go play Overwatch. That's crazy. I need to play Ark. You can play well, Ark you got while Baka and I are recording later. Yes. I got to go feed the dinos again. Get more oil. Maybe do that later. You do that when no. we're playing. No. If I fucking... No. I'm, I'm, well, while you're playing in... Yes, while we're playing Dying uh, like Dying Watch. God damn it. Dying Watch. That's what I almost said. Dying Watch. Dying Watch. Dying Watch. No. Oh. We're playing Dying Watch. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do, I guess. There's there's, <laughs> there's too much Overwatch in this world. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, one more oh. thing about Overwatch. Their lore is fantastic. If you have not read the backgrounds of the characters, do it. Oh, it's so yeah, good. Yeah, IGN's got a, a wiki up about it. It's That's good. Awesome. Good job, Blizzard. Don't fucking change your shit. Just keep going with what you're going with. Now Blizzard just make another Lost Vikings game. <laughs> uh, they'll make a Lost Vikings games when I get my vanilla servers. Hey, hey that may be happening. <laughs> All may right, be happening. maybe that would be super fucking nice. All right, but I think that's it. Go ahead. We appreciate everybody that hangs out with us each and every week and Infinite Respawn. Uh, if you're listening to the audio version of this, come to twitch.tv forward slash Infinite Respawn PC and follow. There you can watch Chicken every day of the week except Sunday. Well, Saturday and Sunday, Saturday. sorry. So Monday through Friday uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern uh, where he is streaming all different types of things. Like he said, he's going to be doing Overwatch tomorrow, uh, which is pretty freaking awesome. You can also check us out at Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash infinite res PC. Check me out personally at MDB Oak Tree. You can check out Griff. At Griff Slynum. Check out Chicken. At Elite Chicken 313. Check out Baca. At Baca Pickle. Also, make sure you go to our website, infiniterespawn.com. Go on there, join the forums, hang out, have a good time. Say hi to Ivy. Uh, hi, Ivy. She's, she's one of our besties. We love her. Um, and uh, Griff's soulmate. That's, that's what I'm saying right there. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> And uh, go on there and uh, join the forums, hang out, have a good time. Give suggestions. Uh, if you've got a game or something that you want Chicken to play, give a suggestion. It's on there. Uh, he listens. Uh, he does not listen to Griff, but he does listen to uh, the rest of us, so it works out really good. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, make sure you go to our YouTube uh, on our YouTube channel, you can find uh, old broadcasts as well as um, the podcasts and also the Let's Plays that Griff does. And then with Griff and Baka, you've got Dying Light that's currently going on. And Griff, you're still doing Fallout 4 as well, is correct? Yes. yes. Okay. 
Uh, so you got both of those. Uh, as she said, this is the finale that they're going to be uh, doing today. And so uh, it looks like we're going to start Halo up, which is kind of exciting. I'm, I'm very interested in that. So um, those two can, can work through the main campaigns of that. And uh, hopefully um, Baka doesn't die too much from Griff killing him. But Ooh, there's going to be a we'll lot of driving in this game, and neither of those two are good drivers. Oh. Well, with the Halo 1 and 2 driving, the Warthogs are fucking awful, too. So, Baka, buckle up, buddy. I'm going to need me a fold-out chair, because this is going to be good. Chicken's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, just going to be sitting in his chair fire. eating popcorn. <laughs> oh, there he goes again. Oh, that's a cliff. Oh, there, there's a cliff again. That, that's a rock. Russ and I playing it the other day. Fuck we it, just I'm just going to run. I don't need the Warthog. <laughs> The, in Halo oh. 1, he killed me twice in the first level, <laughs> and then almost drove us off a cliff three times in that next part. Like, six. just stop. I don't oh, want to play yeah. with you anymore. You're dangerous. That that ending race is gonna be good. Oh, God. Oh, God, God yeah. I died several times on that shit, because you fucking hit the rails and just blow up your warthog or flip and get out and yeah, die. Yeah, if you don't hit the right patterns and you don't have the right slides happening, mm -hmm. you're gonna hit a wall, you're gonna hit one of the pillars, you're gonna hit something. You go die. Gonna die. Uh, Miss a ramp, <laughs> right? Because you got the holes that do this, and then pop back up. Yep. So, yeah, you're going to do something. Something's going to be messed up. Yay! Uh, <laughs> uh, but pretty much that's it. Uh, uh, also, uh, make sure that you follow uh, my Twitch as well on Sunday nights uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern. Currently, I'm playing Uncharted 3. Uh, my goal is to be done by the time Uncharted 4 comes out, which shouldn't be too difficult because it's just a few days away. Uh, and be able to uh, stream that as well. So it would, you know, kind of coincide and everything that's going on. And then after that, I'll be following up with Doom. Uh, there you can go to twitch.tv forward slash MDB Oak Tree. You can follow me there. And I believe that's it. So for everybody to respawn, I'm Oak Tree. I'm Griff. I'm Chicken. I'm Baka. See ya. Bye. Bye. Let me press the outplay. There we go. <laughs>